intentions. <laughs> I, I've done top shelf before. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, I'll try to slow down. Welcome to Super Dragon Bros. And I'm Trevor Adler. And I'm Shane McMahon. Because he's the man. We're going to start us off with some introductions, starting with Trevor here. Uh, well, my name's Trevor Adler, and my favorite food... I don't really have much of a favorite food, but I like tacos and burritos and anything spicy. I like making my own chili with, you know, jalapenos and stuff. It's awful. It's not awful. You just can't take the spice. It's god-awful. Don't take his word for it. Deep in his heart, he loves my chili. He wants to have intimate relationships with my chili. All day, every day. See, told you. Okay, uh, my goal in life. Um, to be a video producer, travel around the world, I want to be... I want to go to London, most likely Scotland, because that's where David Tennant is, my favorite actor. Oh my gosh, he's so amazing. <laughs> um, if you don't know, Doctor number 10, and he's in Harry Potter. And uh, Which you just found out. Yeah, I just found out because, you know, I, I had never watched Doctor Who before I watched Harry Potter, and then I watched Doctor Who, and then I watched the episode, I was like, oh, that's David Tennant, woo! But uh, besides that, uh, Random Tibbet, okay. That's, I didn't expect that one. Um, <laughs> it's random. A random tidbit of myself is I like to dance when I hear music, no matter what. If like, I'm in the mall or something, I will I will start to jiggle my butt or something and kind of dance, and I embarrass everyone I'm around with. I don't mean to, but it's really fun to dance. It's, it's very inappropriate. <laughs> You, you would know. I would know. Yeah, I would, I would think so. But now, I think I'm done. So now, it's your turn. My turn. Alright. My name's Shane McMahon, as I already stated. My favorite food is chili cheese fries. My goal in life is to become interfamous. I think I'm doing a pretty solid job so far. My random tidbit for myself is that I really enjoy dragons. A lot. Anything and everything about dragons. Except Chinese dragons, which is stupid. Yeah, except for Chinese, Chinese dragons. Chinese dragons are freaking amazing. They're lame. They're lame. Don't, let, don't listen to them. Anyway. You should comment on the video and say whether you like Chinese dragons or not. I'm just saying, because there, I know there's a lot of people out there like, they look awesome. Just agree with me. Agree with me. Anyway, uh, on to our next subject. Uh, we're going to be talking about consoles now and upcoming games that we're looking forward to. Me personally, I am looking forward to quite a few things. Uh, for the 360 console, uh, I'm looking forward to Halo 5. That's basically about it for the con for that yeah, console. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. Halo is awesome. Yeah, I love Halo. Uh, next is... Uh, Should we put Master Chief up here? I just thought about that. Now, now we have an awkward silence and a... <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go back to what you were saying. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Awkward silence. Uh, I'm also looking forward to the PS4. Uh, only PS4 sucks. PlayStation sucks. I'm only looking forward to the PS4 because of Diablo 3 on the console. I already have it on the PC, but I'm looking forward to it on the console. Uh, fuck Nintendo. Nintendo's awesome. Is it my turn? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, that's, okay. what, that's what I was saying. I'm... Fuck you. <laughs> hey, okay. Um, I am a big Nintendo fan. Um, I don't really like the Wii because let's all admit it. Wii is the worst thing Nintendo's ever come up with. But I got the Wii U. It's pretty good. The graphics are much better and, you know, I like the game. But I got used to it. Uh, discovered... I ventured off to other games besides Mario because I mainly go to Mario because I try not to waste my money. But I'm looking forward to the new Super Smash Bros. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what characters that come out, like uh, maybe Mega Man or something. Rayman. Uh, I used to be a big Rayman fan back in the Tim Four, but you know, the like, Rayman games have gotten worse. Um, Anything related to Mario he's looking forward to? Yeah, pretty much. Like the new Paper Mario or Super Smash Bros. mostly. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure that's all I'm looking forward to. I, I hope I get my 3DS back because I'd like to play some more Mario games than that. But besides that, uh, I'm about done. 
Alright, well, on to our next topic then, which is our movie that we reviewed. Sharktopus! Uh, this movie won our, uh, our poll that we posted on Facebook. Which we'll have every week. Yes, we'll have that every week. Uh, this was between six different bad shark movies. Uh, the choices were Two-Headed Shark Attack, Deep Blue Sea, Our Beloved Sharktopus, Jaws the Revenge, and a few other bad ones that I can't remember. Um, we're going to be rating this on three different elements. Uh, story, special effect, and the kills. Uh, let's start off with the story. You want to take it? The story. That's not really a good one I can start out with. <laughs> oh, All right. the oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll start out with the story because he, he just said all that stuff. Um, the story? It was decent. It was you, awful. It, it, it was horrible. Okay, yeah, it was kind of bad, but you know, I can't really think of much stories you could have with the Sharktopus. I mean... I could have I, thought I, of ten different better ones. I mean, I can think of one right now, and that's only because... Hentai. <laughs> I mean, come on, you see so many tentacles and stuff and hentai, you know where it's going to go when you see those Which tentacles. reminds me, there was no nudity whatsoever in Yeah, which was Tipus. horrible. Because in a horrible movie, the only way people watch it is because there's nudity. There's big, there's, there's those sexy breasts just bouncing back and forth. <laughs> um, it, it didn't have any, it just had lots of bikini girls, which is um, lame. Um, it, it lost me because of that, mostly. Well, we should probably get back on topic and go with the story. That, okay, uh, <laughs> here's a summary of the story. Uh, they have this genetic mutation used by the Army, or the Navy, Navy, my bad. Uh, and they're basically trying to get it to do some stealth warfare for them. For them. And... An accident happens, it hits a, like, shark puss hits a boat, and the whole, like, uh, technology with that goes berserk. Yeah, and, like, a little brace thing. Yeah, and he just starts going crazy and killing people and whatnot. And now they send out this, like, little team to go hunt it down, which, it's called the S-11. Uh, that's what shark puss code name is. Um, S-11. What I was hoping with that was, uh, like, S-10 or something comes out and starts killing it, but, I mean, that's apparently not gonna happen. I was hoping for a, a Monster Mash movie, but that didn't happen quite at all. Maybe in the sequel. Maybe in the sequel, even though Sharktopus is uh, no longer with us. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, on the story note, uh, it could have been better, but I mean, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah, I'll give it a solid 7. Just a story. Uh, I'm not gonna be that generous. I'm gonna give it a... Uh... Four out of ten. All right, all right, that's fair enough. All right, on to the next little perk, uh, special effects. Uh, the special effects in the movie were uh, not solid. Um, I, it's a movie by S the Stars Channel, I believe. Um, like the, the, they, they were what you would expect from a Stars Channel. I mean, I uh, think uh, Spartacus. I mean, it's about special effects like that. Um, they were nothing too special, uh, <laughs> hence the name Special Effects. Um, but as far as Sharktopus goes, it looked pretty cool. Uh, some of the things about it was kind of weird, so, I don't know, I'll give it, I'll give it maybe five or six. I mean, you could tell they were Special Effects. They, well, as I say, they're pretty, the effects are pretty admirable. I'm gonna sadly say, you know, I, I probably can do a Sharktopus. I'm not at that level yet. Um, it's <laughs> um, it's good. It's very creative, yes. It's creative, okay, yeah. I mean, that. they had to think pretty hard about making a shark slash octopus, but um, they need to come up with a porno called Cocktopus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it just because I can't attempt it yet. Even though if I could, probably could do better at it. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it. A six and a half out of ten. You know, you just basically came out of nowhere and said that you're gonna make a better shark puss. I'm gonna hold you to that. When I get the graphics, yeah. When I'm I can. I'm gonna hold you to it. it. You're gonna remake shark puss, even though it was made like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now we're moving on to the third 
little which is, thing. Which is probably going to be really short, honestly, because, I mean, it's the kills. You can't talk, I can't talk too much about that. Well, the kills were pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, we had, we had a part where this guy just got his head ripped off. Uh, we got two girls getting stabbed. Uh, we got a few people getting dragged into the water and then eaten. I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, there was this one girl that was bungee jumping. Oh yeah, that was. And I cool. uh, was jumping back and down. I mean, the kills were really predictable, nevertheless. But uh, she was bungee jumping, and at first, before she even did it, she's like, "I'm too scared to do it." And then she came up, was like, "Let's do it again." And I was kind of hoping the guy she was with would do the bungee jump and then get eaten, and then she'd be like, "Oh, he shouldn't have done that." Yeah, because she was a hot girl. This yeah, she wasn't that hot. She was. She was okay. Yeah, she was alright. <laughs> But, uh, the kills were pretty predictable. Well, I'm just gonna say, I didn't like that at all. I mean, in, there was no, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Suspense. There was no suspense. It was just like, oh, which reminds me, like, the music. The, mu the, the dramatic music would always set up when there was no drama. <laughs> yeah, it was stupid. There would be no music before each kill, it would just be music at random parts. Like, you'd just be looking at the ocean, bona, bona, shit like that, but, uh... Oh, Jaws. They don't know that yet. Okay. Actually, they probably do. Anyway, that's about it for Sharktopus. Overall, I'd give it maybe, like, I was being pretty generous, so I'll probably give it, like, a, a six or seven. No, I can't give it that. <laughs> Crick right. Yeah, I'll probably give it a five or six. So, okay, um, I'm gonna give it a solid. It's about time you give it something solid. Four and a half. Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so solid. All right, you mix oh. that together, you get about a five. All right, so officially, Sharktopus is rated about a five by us. Yeah, about fish. Alright, uh, that's about it for today. That seemed a little shorter than what we had hoped. Um, expect longerness. <laughs> Alright, um, I hope you liked the, the story that we started out and we'll end with. So, uh, talk to you later. This was Trevor Super Dragon Bros. And Shane and Super Dragon Bros. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm what for?